Hey, good looking. Guess what? It's leg day! It's leg day, it's leg day. Oh boy, I love me a good leg day. Let's go, go, it's leg day. Oh, 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 leg day, leg day, leg day. Oh, 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 oh. Hello there, hey, welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and today, like I said, is leg day. So you are going to need a couple of tools. I want you to grab a pair of moderate dumbbells there and a sturdy table, bench, or chair. And we're going to be stepping on that baby, so make sure it's sturdy. You ready? Excellent. Okay, we're going to get warmed up. Let's start with some squats. Here we go. Push the hips back. Now drive up off of the heels. Let's do it again. We've got 10. Excellent. So this is going to hit the legs like you wouldn't believe. And then we have a special leg finisher. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's going to hurt to get up off the toilet tomorrow. Sorry. <laughs> Last three. Two. One more. One. All right. Here we go. Alternating lunges. Step back for me. Beautiful. And now let's add the arms. Reach it up. Back knee coming down to our floor. Front knee lines up with the ankle. Now, with that said, I don't want to freak you out. <laughs> so if you are new to exercise, don't use dumbbells. All right, so whatever dumbbell you grab, just forget about it. Or do the dumbbells for the first set, drop them for the second set. So essentially, we have seven exercises. Each exercise is single leg pattern, and we have two rounds each leg. And then we have the leg finisher. Oh, boy. One more each side. Last side. Excellent. All right, now give me a kick. Here we go. Eight, seven. Warming up those hamstrings further. Last two. One more. Other side. Go. Two more. Good job. All right, now a little skipping. Pretend you've got a skipping rope. Further get into those knees, get the heart rate up a little bit, elevate the body temperature even more. Once we've done this, we're grabbing our dumbbells, away we go. Time on the clock for today's workout is 35 seconds each move. Until we get to the leg finisher. <laughs> I know, I'm an idiot, <laughs> but I have fun. 10 more seconds, and then the leg finisher is 20 seconds. I promise this is the last time I'd, I'll do that. Maybe. <laughs> Dime. All right. If you need a sip of water, grab it. Last workout, I forgot my water bottle. I was kind of thirsty. It was a short workout, but I was thirsty. This time, yeah. All right. Crossover lunges. 35 seconds on the clock. Dumbbells or no dumbbells, your choice. Nice and tall on the body, you take that right leg, step across the midline of the body, drop that back knee straight down. Same leg, okay, okay. Go, round one. Upper body upright. So, when I teach people this move, I see a lot of people float their chest forward. Don't do that, okay? Lean back, nice, good. I'll try not to breathe too heavy into my mic. Been trying different angles with it. Still nothing's working. How do those other YouTubers do it? They're amazing. <laughs> you don't hear them breathe at all. Time. All right, 10 second break. We do the other leg. I don't know, I'll have to, uh, I don't really know any other YouTubers that do exercise. Go. I know some that don't do exercise and they have no problem not having to hear your, their breath on the mic. But I know no fitness. So, we are almost completed one set. When the timer goes, we go back to the other leg, do this move again. Easy peasy. Drop down, you wanna feel this, okay? So right now we're really hitting that right glute by crossing over. Obviously the hip and the quad's gonna fire up too. But our focus as we cross over is the glute. Time. All right, second step. Nice and tall in the upper body. Just a light grip on your dumbbells and go. My dog is 
passed out just behind camera. She's had a really rough day of walking around to local businesses and getting her picture taken and having treats. I'm doing a special shop local promo. We've got a cool little business community here in Ladner. So she's gone into all different businesses while the merchants stand behind their desk with her sitting in front of the cash register. And then I tag on social media to shop local. Yeah, she's a star. And then we're going to need the chair for the next exercise, or bench, whatever you have. Down. No dumbbells for our next move. We're gonna go right into it too, okay? One-legged squat, sitting on our chair or bench and back up again. Time, two rounds. So, stand, your bench or chair behind you. Pick a leg off the ground. Push the bum back, sit down, drive up. Good, now as you come down, come down slow, just don't drop. My bench is pretty high, which is going to help me on this move, but going to be the death of me on the next move. So if your bench is low, yeah, you're working hard now, but no, on the next move, you're going to have it easy. So, there you go. If you're having a hard time with balance, by all means, kickstand that other leg down, put a little weight on it, but try to put the focus all on this one leg. Working deep stabilizers here, and then into the quad, and more glute. Time, more hamstring. Other leg. Focus your stare on something stationary. All right, and begin. Press up. So this side, you might find you're a little bit more wobbly. You probably naturally started with your dominant leg without even knowing it. So bear in mind, you need to do this move then to find a difference in both legs. Almost there. Time. Okay, so round one done. Here we go. Round two. Ready, set, go. Yeah. Now, as you get stronger and do this workout again, maybe you can hold on to one dumbbell and then eventually hold on to both. Oh yeah, this is my less dominant leg right here. Done. All right, last leg, and then we're gonna flow right into the move. Next move, real quick. So get set up. Here we go. Leg up. Go down. So on our next move, we will need our dumbbells. We have single leg step ups. So holding on the dumbbells, one foot on our bench here. We're gonna step up. So that's why I said, if you have a lower bench. You're working hard right now, sister. I hear ya. You'll have it a little easier next time. And then with me stepping on this bench, we'll see how sturdy time the IKEA bench is. All right, here we go. Come on up. Dumbbells in hand. Get a foot up on your bench or chair. Okay, keep it up there, ready? Drive up and down. Keep that foot up, up and down. 35 seconds, then we switch. So the higher your bench, the more booty you're gonna work. So that's kind of nice. If you've got a high bench, and working your glutes is something that you wanna do. I have no idea if I'm still in frame. <laughs> Might be a headless PJ right here. <laughs> Time. Woo. All right, other. 
other leg. Ah, oh, I like these 10 second breaks. Don't you? All right, party's over. Back to work. So with the no breaks that we're having with this workout, well, 10 seconds, but you can't really call 10 seconds a break, can you? Anyways, with the no rest time, your heart rate's gonna come up too, which is kind of cool. Huh? Work a bit cardio. Oh, legs, core too. Oh wow, we got a ton of core happening right now too. Oh, you're welcome, Tom. All right, second set. Oh, I know this is fun. I, I hear you. Oh, just wait till we get to the leg finisher. <laughs> I didn't do it. Okay. And again, we're going to flow right into the next move. Whew. Ready? Go. Up. So our next move, we still need the dumbbells. We're performing a front to reverse lunge, or what's also called a pendulum lunge. Now again, I say keep the dumbbells, but if you find you're struggling and you're losing form, get rid of them. Or get rid of one. Hey, we'll get there. Just hang in there with me. Trust me. There's one thing I know, baby, and that's fitness. You stick with it, it rewards you. Time. Whew. All right. So you're going to pick a leg, lunge forward, and back. Ready? Go. Forward. Front knee in line with the ankle. Back. Front knee in line with the ankle. See how that works? Good. Upper body upright. So. That very first cue I gave you when we did our first move about not leaning forward, pay attention to that here too. Here we go. Ready? Set. Go forward. Good. Feet together. Back. I got real quiet, didn't I? <laughs> Time. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just totally zoned out my own thoughts. Whoops. Welcome back to reality, PJ. Go. Other leg. Last. You're filming a YouTube workout, girl. You know what I was thinking about? Ooh, all this stuff I still got to do. We do that, don't we? That's why we need to meditate. Try to think about right now. That's all that matters. But then those thoughts creep in, right? Oh, I gotta do this. Oh yeah, right, really, I gotta pick that up. Oh shoot, I forgot to do that yesterday. <laughs> so you gotta work at meditation, just like we're working on our legs. And for some people, time, myself included, meditation's harder than this shit. All right, last leg. Ready, go. I use an app. I love Headspace. I've talked about it before in other workouts. Andy, it's the guy that talks on Headspace. It's just something about English accents. He just help calm you. He's also the owner too, but I love his voice. 
Okay, so we're gonna flow right into the next one after this too. Our dumbbells are needed, but on the ground. Don't worry, I'll talk you through it. Just time. All right. So dumbbells down. Okay, I want the right foot right in between. Back leg behind you, but knee in line with the hip, and then drop down. Okay, leg straight behind you. Now, pick the back leg up a little bit like you're going over a little hurdle, and drop down into that lunge, and over. Just let me you know. Hopefully you can see this. Down. Weight up on the dumbbells. This is a crossover pulse. Where you're going to feel this in the quad in that front leg. So we're picking up, we're really loading up that back toe as we drop down on each side, going across the body and then right behind, across and right behind. That back knee's in line with our hip, time. Whew. And our foot's right in between the dumbbells with our body weight right on top of the dumbbells. So let's get set up on this leg, okay? Here we go. Step across and back down center. Good. Back knee in line with the hip. Front knee in line with the hip. Shoulders on top of wrists. Right on top of your dumbbells. Oh, yeah. Woo. This one burns. Almost home. Whew. All right, so one more to go. Here we go. Oh, different legs, other leg. Go. So it's not a straight leg, okay? That back leg is bent. Pay attention, take a look. Pay attention, that was super bossy. <laughs> take a look. <laughs> Pay attention, you. Oh. Time. Whew. All right. Last leg and then guess what? Uh-huh. We flow right into the next one. Don't worry, you'll get a rest in about an hour. <laughs> trainer, viewer, just trainer. No, we're almost there. We're almost there. We have two more strength moves to do. And then, what do we got? <laughs> the leg finisher! I had to. Just had to. This feels like the leg finisher, though, doesn't it? Damn. We need our bench or chair for the next move. Done. Woo! All right. Grab your dumbbells, or one, or none. Whew. Here we go, back laces on your bench. Oh, I have a hard time on this ankle, I damaged it. Down, down. So, you should have your laces on the bench. Don't do what I'm doing. My ankle, my foot, doesn't bend that way anymore. <laughs> So it's super awkward right now. Your lowers better. Nope. I can't do it on this angle. Sorry, gang. Done. Okay, other other leg. Here we go. Legs. There. That's better. And go. Yeah, I had a hiking injury. Probably eight weeks now. Stupid ankle. Still so strong, still bruised. I complain about it basically every workout. So those of you that are with me a lot, my apologies. I like to whine about it. Oh, this burns too. Time. Other leg. I wonder if I can do it now. Oh. Wow. Well, that's kind of let me do it. <clears throat> no, not going to let me do it. Oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think we will feel that mix tomorrow. I think I'll be in the same boat as you. So, wake up tomorrow, sore. But put a smile on your face and know that the one who led you to this destruction is sore as well. <laughs> Tom. Alright, how do leg. Last set here. Here we go. Down. So here's the scoop. We got one more move to do after this. Alright, it's a plie squat. So both legs are going to be working at the same time. We're going to keep our dumbbells, work our inner thigh, work our quads and hips some more. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, turn those toes right up. Whew. I'm delirious, I'm losing my balance. Alright, straight down and up. So, your feet are wider than your shoulders. Okay, your toes are turned right out. So, if you ever took ballet, plie. If you're like me, didn't take ballet, turn the toes out. <laughs> Dumbbells, up or down. Squeeze that booty on the way up. When the timer goes, we're just going to hold this position, okay? The up position, not the down. And then we got another set. Time. Hang tough here. Make sure those toes are turned out. Last set. And down. Knees trap with those toes, really push those knees out, come up, drive the hips forward, squeeze the booty on that top part. Time. Alright, you grab a sip of water. Okay, so you're gonna need it because we have the leg finisher. <laughs> oh. Now, 20 seconds. You might think I'm going soft on you, but you can let me know when we're done whether I went soft on you by decreasing the time. Okay. So we have three moves. They all consist of body weight. They're all squat moves. One's a body weight squat. All right, you all know that. Okay, good. We'll bring the arms out actually with that. Okay, and then we hold it down, squat hold, and then squat jump or squat heel lift if you don't like the jumps. 20 seconds on, 10 second break, three rounds. You yeah, ready? Let's go. Squat it out. Push the bum back. Knees tracking with the toes. Excellent. Neutral spine. So you're pushing that those hips back like you're going to sit in that chair we were using earlier. All right. All right. Squat hold. 20 seconds here. Forgot to change the time. Two, no break in between. All right, so 20 seconds here. We get a little extra on this one. My bad. Trust me, better to have extra on this one than the squat jump. So when the timer goes, squat jump for 20 seconds. Whew. Whew, whew. go. <laughs> oh, it's as high as I can go. How about you? <laughs> Whew. All right, body weight squat, go. Round two.
Whew. Squat hold, go. Keep the abs engaged. You don't want to feel this in your low back. If you are, you could potentially be rounding that tailbone in. I want you to push the tailbone out. Okay, so you got this neutral spine. Whew. Jump squats, go. Oh my goodness me. Oh yeah. Squat hold, go. Yeah, we did it. For me personally, it wasn't my best looking squat jump, but I did it. So I'm going to give myself a pat on the back. I suggest you do the same. Whew. Walk it out a bit. Let's get those heart rates down. Uh, grab some water if you need it. And then please don't leave me yet. I want to stretch you out. We just did a ton of legs. Oops. Shush timer. We're done. Shush. Oh, nice. Okay. Let us start with a quad stretch. Seems like the easy thing to do right now. Knee lines up with the hips, squeeze the bum. Ah, that was effective. So the method behind this workout was to kill you, no, <laughs> just joking, was to work each leg independently. Uh, after working with for years with people, I find we all have a dominant side. So by doing the one-legged lunge, squat patterns, that idea, step-ups, we have to work each leg independent of the other so we can build the strength on each side. We also work a lot more core when we're working what we call unilateral movements because the core is having to stabilize because we're off balance, like right now, for instance, a bit more. And then this was definitely a little bit more glute and hip dominant. So he may, you know, the quads, we got him on those crossover pulses, but we did a lot of glute because again, years of training people, I find that is a lot of people's weakness, glutes, hips. And that can set us up for a lot of injuries. Really. All right, let's take ourselves down and stretch into those hips. Starting with the hip flexor stretch. Ankle ahead of the knee, lunge forward, inhale the back arm up, exhale, lean away. Ah, I like stretching. Now let's take ourselves down with the hands placed beside that foot. Take the back knee, slide it behind you even further. Now roll yourself on the outside of that foot and you're gonna get a little deeper into the hip and into the inner thigh. If you're flexible, that's not me, but if you are, you'll come down onto the forearms, turning this into what they call a grasshopper pose in yoga. Me, I'll just rip something if I try that. Release. All right, other side. Here we go. Pull my mat back a bit. Lunge forward. Inhale the back arm up. Lean away. 
And then squeeze that back glute. That's going to help us release the hip flexor even more. Bring your hands down beside the foot. Slide the back knee further behind you. Roll onto that outside of the front ankle. And again, come down on the forearms if your body allows you to. Release, come into a seated position. Extend one leg out, line it up with that hip for me. Inhale, look behind you, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Really lead with the chest here if you can. Not so much rounding your back. Feeling the stretch in the back of your thigh and perhaps even in your low back. If you want, you can grab onto the shin to help, her, excuse me, as some leverage or your shoe or your laces. Release, other leg. Again, we're inhaling, we're looking up, almost behind us. Exhale and come down. Dog hair all over my shoes. That dog of mine. Next dog I get is going to be a hairless chihuahua. Not a long hair, it looks like a collie. Sheds like you wouldn't believe. She just opened her eyes and started to look at me. She's a good dog. And release. Take yourself on your back. Cross that left ankle over the right thigh. Pull that right knee in for figure four. I've had a dog my entire life. I couldn't imagine my life without a dog. She comes with me everywhere. <laughs> Our last dog wasn't as social as she was, and it's because we didn't take her out that much. We didn't, uh, we, I worked from home a lot. So with Bella, when we got Bella, I made sure we are out and about to meet people, other dogs, on a constant basis. Switch sides, get her well socialized. So this is stretching into your glute, as well as deep in your glute, a muscle called your piriformis, and it's a hip rotator. And it really works when we're doing the lunges and walking even, you know, it helps stabilize and as well as externally rotate the hip. And in my experience with people, this is the muscle that gives them a lot of grief. And it can even present itself as sciatica when it's not. So if you've got those symptoms, a couple of things I've seen that are really successful. Um, so home remedies would be rolling um, lacrosse ball and then uh, clinical ways to fix it is IMS, intramuscular stimulation, and that's a really deep, deep, deep acupuncture that physiotherapists do. That can really release that muscle. Release, pull the knees in, good, and just side to side rock, massage that low back. And then, you know, let's just stay here. So this video will just play. We're going to finish off right here. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. I'm going to lie here for a while. I'd love to hear where you're from when you decide to get up off the mat. And subscribe to the channel there, girl, if you haven't already. We'd love to have you join. And uh, have yourself a great rest of your day. Bye.